though there is one uh, NFC team left undefeated, the 49ers. And uh, it's looking like they might just be the real deal out there, man. I'd like to see Jimmy Garoppolo be a little bit more consistent. Uh, but 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 other than that, man, that, that defense is looking really good. Um, you know, and, and, and they, our offense doesn't turn over the ball, you know? Right. Which is a big thing. So, you know, I think I think they could go pretty far. I'm not going to say Super Bowl just yet, but uh, I think they can definitely – I can see them in the NFC Championship game. I mean, you're getting a, a kind of a hint to my next blog that I'm actually thinking about doing because um, I know, like, you know, they defense um, 49ers and Patriots are both good, and they both lead the league. Patriots number one, mm -hmm. 49ers number two. But, you know, sometimes we as football fans, we like to – they hear the Hollywood story, the Hollywood mm -hmm. ending. And to me, that is um, Jimmy Garoppolo versus Brady, a god in Jimmy Garoppolo <laughs> yeah. that was Brady's understudy. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's why I'm saying with these two defenses, even though the defenses is going to be the main reason why they go to the Super Bowl, because the Patriots offense has struggled this year. Yeah. Um, the, um, Jimmy Garoppolo, yeah, he has made um, decent plays, but he's not, you know, he's nobody that I'm up at night. Um, you know, so their defense is going to be the main reason why they go to the Super Bowl. But the talk is going to be, if that happens, Brady versus Garoppolo. Absolutely. And Brady, growing up being a San Francisco 49er fan, yeah. all the storylines that go into it. Um, I think, really, as we mentioned, Garoppolo's play smart. Their running game is really tough to stop. Um, they play a really good <coughs> brand of defense. Um, they added D4 to go with some of the other young guys that they have on the D-line. Obviously, Richard Sherman in the secondary. Yeah. So they've got a good team. To me, I don't see them as the favorites just because in a one-game playoff scenario... If they were going up against the Packers, I think I like the Packers a little bit more. Mm -hmm. If they're if they're going up against the Rams, I think I'm going to take the experience of the Rams over them a little bit more. Um, so I'm not ready to put them there yet. Same thing with Seattle. Like I, I still want to see them go to Seattle and how they respond to that. We saw yeah, them play the Rams and beat the games. Rams in a tough game, but they still got a tough part of their schedule coming up. They've got to face Seattle in Seattle. And I like Green Bay, I think, the best out of anybody in the NFC. They also added a wide receiver, though, which I think is actually going to be a, a big boost for them, right. Emmanuel Sanders. Right. Um, yeah, th I think now as you get another bona fide weapon at wide receiver, and as long as he's healthy, he's just as good as, you know, as, as anybody else. So I think that that's going to actually help Garoppolo out a lot to have somebody he can just, all right, if I want to throw it down, I can get it downfield. And then, you know, you always got Kittle who's, who's arguably, right. you know, well, I guess, I'd say top three, I guess, tight end, maybe even the best tight end in the league right now. Um, so it, it's going to it's gonna be fun. I definitely can see it. It's Super Bowl where it's 49ers uh, Patriots. But, again, like you said, they got to go uh, to Seattle. Uh, you know, you still got to see the, the, the Rams again, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so there's a couple of teams. I mean, the Saints are looking amazing right now without right. Drew Brees. John Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Talk.com, where Arthur Domus tripped young and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend.